Good morning. Oh, if the poor ledge is swaying, don't start belaying. Oh, oh, that sun is so oh. bright. Dude, oh. I think we definitely slept in. Hey, Ryan, how did you not roll off in the middle of your sleep? Because you didn't get up to go pee because you had a pee bottle. Mm -hmm. Oh, but how was I safe? Yeah. Ah, oh, I decided to just clip my grigri, which is attached to the anchor up there. Ah, okay. How are you? I use my personal anchor system on a BHK, also connected to the climbing rope, um, and it was adjustable so I could still move around if I needed to and lay on my belly. Cool. So whenever you're on a ledge, you want to be safe all the time. Hey, I I'm going to shift over and grab something, Ryan. Okay. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, that was poor timing, but oh, we no. got the point across. <laughs> Shoot. Wow. That was my plush pillow because I like to be comfy. Yeah. If you don't have everything clipped in, it's going to fall off. So in the corners here, even our sleeping bags are clipped into the portal ledge, attached to something on both sides. His and mine, even though I'm on the inside, that doesn't guarantee that things aren't gonna drop. Yeah, yeah. So you need to be safe and everything needs to be clipped in. One way you can clip things in is with this daisy chain that's attached to the bottom of the haul bag. The haul bag is positioned above us, so the portal edge can go out. Spare beaners, you might not be using them to climb with, but they are incredibly nice for, for your living on the wall uh, time. I, I will find all the spare beaners and I'll put them at the bottom of here because when you, when you take your shoes off at night, uh, where are you gonna put them? You gotta have these free beaners. Yep. Can you hand me my shoes, by the way? Yeah, are they around the corner? They are clipped to the corner of my portal edge. So you can clip stuff to the strap and just let them hang over the edge. Now, if I'm gonna take my shoes off, I'm gonna put it on the side where Jeremiah has his head, not mine because they smell pretty bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> his shoes are way up there and they're still smelly. Yeah, they've never been washed. The ground's right there, that's nice. Other things that you can attach to, you've got these ladders and your ladders can actually be attached to as well. Just keep in mind, like, they don't have to be life supporting. You know, you can just clip things because it's just gear, it's just gear. This is where we do different things differently. My body, uh, because I live in my van during the school year as a teacher, uh, I don't have a restroom to easily access until I'm at work. So my body routine is I eat breakfast and it takes an hour for my body to need to go to the bathroom. So I like to eat breakfast first, give myself time to digest it, and then pack up everything, and then right before we start, go to the bathroom and then climb. I don't wanna eat right away in the morning, so I'd like to pack up all of my stuff and kinda of get organized, which is just nice mentally, and then I will eat. Five minutes after I'm done eating, or hopefully not while I'm eating, I feel the urge to go in a bag. Mm-hmm, it is enjoyable. What's nice about adrenaline, for me at least, it shuts me off. So once I start climbing and do my stuff, I'm not gonna go during the day. Mm -hmm. But that makes me reliably going in the morning. If I skip that, it might bite me in the ass. I always go in the morning. Yeah. I have learned to be able to force myself to go in the morning, because this is the most convenient time to go. Absolutely. Uh, when I go to the bathroom, it is actually relieving, even though yes, it is in a bag, uh, to know that I probably won't have to do it on lead the rest of the day, which is a lot of comfort. Depends how many mountain houses you've had. Well, I'm gonna demonstrate us having breakfast just super quick. So Ryan, since you, the, the hall, uh, food bag is over there and clipped to the portal edge, can you grab the blue bag inside of there? That has our breakfast. So this bag is connected to the strap here, not this plastic cheap part. And then I can access the stuff in here. And this is his breakfast bag, I guess? Yep, the blue one is. Okay, and awesome. Say take. I got it here, okay. taking. Yep, say so just always confirm that the other person has it. We can go ahead and get water in here and get it boiling and start cooking our breakfast. It's cooked and we just had breakfast. Wow, that was fast. Um, in the logistics video, if you have not seen that yet, you are going to be missing out on a lot of the different components we're grabbing and why this bag exists and why that jet boil can hang. So make sure you go see that if you haven't. Jeremiah's on this side. I don't also want to go on that side. Science. I'm gonna stay on my side and I'm gonna ask him to unclip my sleeping bag so I can start to fold it up and put it away.
So keep in mind that when you do do your breakfast and all that stuff, that there's a reason why it's in a hanging kit of some sort, that uh, it's not on your portal edge, possibly going to burn some straps. So it is a flammable thing. It don't do it inside of your uh, rain fly. Also next to anything that could be flammable, make sure that it's not next to plastic bags or next to things that could burn. Just be mindful of that. You can decide what order you wanna either put things away, which I have now clipped all of my stuff into the corner of this hall, um, portal edge, yeah. and or the uh, aiders. And we'll show you why these aiders are here. My aiders are attached to his aiders, and that is our elevator, I call it. And that's what gets us up to the hull bag or the pig. Yep, so which is up there right now. What I like is the fact that this hangs here. And I'll even lock and check my partner's personal anchor here. Um, I want this thing hanging kind of at this level because the flame is going to be the furthest away from everything else like he was saying. Yep. And I'm going to make my breakfast and I'm going to check it and I'm going to cook it and I'm going to have my oatmeal already ready. It's going to be probably in the helmet and that way um, I can keep things together. Yeah, so where do you keep the uh, poop tube? The poop, poop tube, tube is attached way down low off the portal edge. So it's attached to this white rope that I have to pull up and pull up for a while because it's so far down so we don't have to smell it. See how much I'm still pulling? Wow, okay, here it is. That is a two liter bottle. That is my form of a poop tube and we've already covered that in logistics, the different ones you can have. Mm -hmm. um, but this was yesterday's poop where we already have two stashes in there, but there is room for two more. Hand me my miscellaneous bag. Clip the, clip the bag right here. There's typically lots of places to clip things to. And here's so I've got- Sock. Here's my toilet paper. No. Um, <laughs> it's a bag full of socks. That is your toilet paper if you don't bring <laughs> enough. And wet wipes are better than toilet paper and I want to make sure everyone yeah. knows that. When it's time to go to the bathroom, which we cover in the how not to poop video, no need to cover it here. Uh, get it, the poop cover here. It's kind of a shitty uh, example there. That was a shitty example. Basically, where are you gonna poop? Right here. Yep. What's the, hey, what's hey, that over there? I'm gonna face this way. That's a really cool thing you should look at. Yeah, I'm gonna look over here and I'd prefer if Ryan looks over there and just takes in the sunrise. Now, if we're going at different times, turn your backs. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this. poop at the same time and make it fun. There's a lot of privacy that you can have just looking away. Uh, know that you don't have to hang off the edge of the portal edge. If so he, if I can't see him, he can't see me. Isn't that how it goes? Yep. That's so okay. bag goes underneath. It's not that hard. If you've never gone to the bathroom in a squatty potty, it's amazing. Check this out. If you only drop your pants to right here, your butthole's back here. You don't have to drop it to your ankles. Otherwise you're pooping in your pants. Mm -hmm. So if my pants are here, you can, even if you looked at me, are probably not gonna see anything and won't you no. be disappointed. I've never missed a bag, okay? You stand in a comfortable, even position. I'd like to shit on Don Wall real quick. Um, this is what they made it look like Tommy Caldwell does. Is this in case he misses? Like what's, why over the edge of the yeah, portal edge? I don't, I, don't I, I don't know what the photo, it might've been just a fake photo and then it submerged type of thing. But Tommy yeah. Caldwell, he's, he's better than that. Yeah, I mean, he's cool. Yeah. He just doesn't shit right. So let me show you. <laughs> I, shit, I shit clean socks for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you can go in your harness if you're just hanging, mm -hmm. but it's a lot less, it's a lot more work. It's a lot weirder. I, taking my butt straps off, my very first harness did not allow me to take them off, but like Ryan said, you don't need to take them off. Yeah. You don't need to take them off to go to the bathroom. Um, I am so adamant about this. I'll keep my underwear on. Chill out. You won't even be able to see this. This is important. all editing. Hold on. Let's see. He'll be able to do it. Well, I got to get around the how not to swag.com shirt. You know what's crazy is people haven't skipped past this yet and they're still watching. I know. Because they don't really think you're actually doing it. Okay. This is YouTube. You can see anything on YouTube. It's just blurred. <laughs> Literally, if I had my underwear down, it would be look exactly the same right now. I don't know my leg straps off. My butthole's right there. I just checked. I can smell it. <laughs> no, those are my shoes. <laughs> um, <laughs> literally, this is how you go in the bathroom. It's just, it, the only thing is, if you're really a good friend. You look away. No, no, I was gonna say, you go to the bathroom downwind. Yeah, 
Definitely. Because if the wind's going that way, that's just shitty. Yep. I'm gonna pull my pants back up now. All right. I just hate the fact people take their harnesses off. Like, I don't think they know the anatomy of where their hole is. It's very important to come up with some really crazy nicknames for this. We'll call it the vault or the poopinator. Mm -hmm. Whatever you can come up with will be in the big wall Bible. But uh, the more shit that's in it, the cooler the name has to be. Now we're done with this, but I'm not gonna hang it all the way down there because we have to, we have to hang it underneath the haul bag later and the haul bag's right here. So we're kind of gonna temporarily clip it, take it off of there. Let's put it on the daisy chain for now. And because it is so long, there you go. Good rope management around that, yep. And then we can just hang it off for now. It's still out of the way, but it frees our portal ledge up to not have a big thing of turds uh, hanging off the corner. Cool, let's pack up food. Let's get that all. Oh, I gotta put ready. this back, yep. And here's the food bag. What's nice about it being all connected here is I can just lift it up. Just make sure it doesn't tip over because it's only connected to one side. Mm -hmm. So anyways, all right. So I have a bundle of goodies here and yep. you have a bundle of goodies here that need to be put together. You yep. can put the camp stove away. Are you, we're done making breakfast? We're done making breakfast. Okay, let's pack it up. Okay, it's all back in here. Wow. Safety third. I ran out of wag bags, so I just went in your helmet. That's okay. Now that cool. we got our helmets on, can you also hand me my rack of all my pointy gear, like my nut tool, all fee fee hook, and all this stuff I didn't want to sleep with on. You don't want to lay on all this? Nope, I'd like to not lay on all this. So, I grab my personal stuff. I don't need that much. I just clipped it to the aider. He left all of his gear, since he led the last pitch, all the way up above. I was the blair, so all my stuff was still on me. I have my Grigory on me right here, and my bags have a lot of my other miscellaneous stuff. My miscellaneous emergency stuff is right here. I kinda just kinda made it a mess. Here's my water bottle. Almost dropped it. Yeah, just cause there's a carabiner on it doesn't mean you can't still drop it. So the aiders, or these ladders, are completely free of gear clipped to them. And it's okay to have this daisy still have some stuff on it. But he is going to hand me some stuff once I go up. And now we have a chance to zoom out and show you how the hull bag is positioned compared to this portal edge and how easily I can access it. However, I have to be connected at all times, right? So this is why I like the Grigri. So you can see that I'm standing up between these two straps because that's where my rope was coming through. If I stood up without thinking, I'm gonna be on the wrong end of this business deal when I wanna go up. So have some good rope management and figure out where you wanna be on your portal edge. Ryan, because of the next pitch that you're gonna lead here, we're gonna flag the ledge so then we have a nice belay since it's overhung and there's not nice belays anywhere else the rest of the climb. Acting is just not our strong suit. <laughs> okay, we'll flag the ledge. You know what? This acting is almost as bad as your product placement. <laughs> There's my product placement. I'm on a bomber Grigri and this is not a bomber personal anchor. And so I can clip this to, let's say this carabiner is bomber that is connected the portal edge to the system. But I just wanna emphasize that I don't want you to clip a gear loop on the portal edge. I don't want you to clip these straps as a personal way to tie in to the portal edge. The, the latter is a maybe, depending if you used all lockers and you have two ways of connecting to maybe two different ladders. This is why I like my Grigory the way it is. And if you can see here, this is the end of, or the top of the hall line. So Jeremiah's gonna connect this to himself when he starts climbing. And you have the sharp end of the climbing rope and the bags are super organized and flaked up there. Anyways, I'm on a Grigri. I feel good. I've been on a cliff for three days, so you know, kind of get desensitized after a while. Before I leave the portal edge, I wanna show you what I did to mine. This is Metolius portal ledge. It's not nearly as amazing as like the D4 ledge that I got to try once but I don't think they're making it anymore. Cliff side, that's the side of the view. And this says wall side on the fabric, cliff, 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 wall, wall, wall. Because now both sides, because I wore them out, have duct tape on them. So I couldn't tell which side went where, and I didn't know if white 
was out or black was out, and I wanted it to be dummy proof. So it's nice to just write on your ledge what side goes where because it's not something you can universally turn around. For me to climb up the elevator is I can't necessarily put my foot here because I have these straps right here. And now that we took off all of our stuff, I'm going to be able to move these ladders around more freely and I'm gonna be standing up right here. And so I stand up. <laughs> Notice that though <laughs> what happens, it is real. When he unweights, I go flying. So that is why you as a partner also wanna make sure you're in on something and not just, oh yeah, I'm good, I'm stable. Uh, you can fly off. It is a dick move to jump off a portal ledge. Usually you get off slowly. So when I get up there, I'm gonna clip this. So I'm gonna keep it super ready and handy. Yep, sounds good. And I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna clip in to my anchor. All right. I can easily access this bag. It's like the same height I am right now because of where it's positioned. And you can see it's off pretty much as far to the right as possible. And I have full freedom. There's nothing in it really, except the stuff maybe hanging off of the, band, the bottom of it. But I wanna pack this in the right way, just like we showed in our haul bag packing video. Now just pretend this ledge isn't here or I'd be standing on it. <laughs> um, this is still my quad anchor. I have my aiders on both sides of it so I can go up and down easily as long as I'm staying safe. This is two double length slings for redundancy clipped to one of the master points. This is the one I was climbing. And the reason this protraction is here is so Jeremiah doesn't forget to take it when he is gonna go hauling. There's nothing worse than forgetting this and having to do some janky stuff without a pulley in order to get the bag up. So this is the orange rope in a rope bag in order to stay organized and not have a junk of rope. And this is the climbing rope with his sharp end here. And if I choose to tie into the bottom of it, I know where the end of my rope is. And if I choose not to, I have a knot in the end. So ropes are here, bag is here, docked, and my ladders. And the portal edge extended does not make packing this or grabbing stuff any more inconvenient. So Jeremiah is ready to hand me stuff. Get weight off of the haul bag first. So here you go. Yep. I'd like to have, um, before you give me any more, give me the sleeping bags first. They're okay. gonna go at the bottom. Here's a sleeping bag. That's a small sleeping bag. There's, a... There's an air mattress that says leaky. There's another one. Okay, that's all of the sleeping. Oh, no, nope. one more sleeping thing. Okay. Okay, hand me the water. This is the water that we're gonna need for today. Okay, so we only used this much last night and it's not super hot out. So this will be super good enough until we get up to our next bivy spot. So I'm gonna wait to put that in the bag until the very top. Do you want the cooking stuff? Nope. He already handed me my snack bag or my day bag and some personal stuff, things that I will want, and I've already organized this, to things I want during the day. So this is very important to have one bag of stuff that we mutually share that's going to be on top. You only need one of these and a bottle of water ever to access this. So, okay. Let's now fill this up with anything else you got down there. I got the big food bag, like all the suppers. Yep, we won't need supper food until later. This other miscellaneous bag. Okay, got it. Okay, and I've got the stove. Yep, got it. And I got some just quick snacks. Got it. All right, that's pretty, I got spare beaners, but I got everything else primarily off so, the ledge. Uh, how about you clip the poop rope to the bottom of the haul bag? Sounds good. And then take the daisy off. Cool. Mm, got it. So I'm going to take the free beaners off of this and make sure that I keep them handy for the day. This daisy um, is either going to be a second personal anchor for the bag 
or it's just going to get placed into the haul bag and I can clip stuff to it like Jeremiah does. Yep. But in this case, I'm going to just girth the inside loop. So if I want to clip some stuff to it, that I could pull that out and like, not feel like I'm going to lose it. Like that stuff. Yeah. So there we go. That way things are always clipped. What else we got down there? That's everything, Chief. Jeremiah's gonna come up. The route goes this way. The climbing rope is this way. His gear is already racked, ready to go over here. And that what we clipped it to was his first piece. So um, I'm gonna get out of his way and give me just one second. <laughs> Clip this. That usually works better when my haul bag's full. One thing that I'm doing here before I start here in coming off of my anchor is making sure that I'm still in on this line very well, just like you would as a follower. The only difference is I'm just struggling this line. So my first line system is connected to my ladder and my ladder is connected to my jug. So then I can come off on the other guy. Okay, there we go. That's okay, it's, it's everybody's first time sometimes. Oh, what am I connected to? <laughs> connected to something here, there we go. No, oh, hold on, hold on, you're orange rope. You got orange rope syndrome. Okay. Rope management. Okay. Stay there. Yep. I'm just getting in on the anchor. Haul line is attached to him. Notice that during the entire time that we're doing changeovers and processes, that both people are working on something independently and trying to get the job done, not one person watching. Yep. That's yep. the sharp end of the rope. Do you got a Jesus jaw, Ryan? I have one. Let me pray about it. I'll let you know. Okay, so you're on the leg. So now I'm gonna take this cloak hitch out. Okay, do 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 do. Lock the roof. Lock the roof. Okay. Okay, Ryan, uh, I still need the haul uh, kit system. Even though I have the haul rope, I do need the haul kit. Can you make sure to hand that over to me? It's right there. Okay, if you have the haul rope, you can prepare that. I'm gonna take this off so you're not hosed when you start leading with it. And I am going to Verify that is not going to be a mess. So, stuff that back in the bag. And my aider, now that he's off of what I'm doing, I can spread that out a little bit more. My feet are spread. He is on belay. He is locked. This is just while I'm hands free for just a hot minute. He's also personal anchored in. Checking everything, I'm super safe enough, and the haul bag is accessible for anything I need. Uh, I am through two hard points, tied in just as usual. Yep, so check your partner. So I have, I have my rack, I have my aid ladders, I have my alfifi, and I have the haul kit. And I have this whole rope is flaked and ready to go, and it's not going to tangle with the haul line when you start. And when you start hauling, I'll be able to move this up and you'll be hauling straight away. And then I can release my bag with the docking system that I like to use. Looks really great. Um, 
I'm belay. Belay on. Climbing. Climb on. Okay. You want it tight, right? I, yeah, and I'd also like to get out of my system. Okay. Okay. So. Gotcha. How do you want to shoot the rest of this now? You taking a whipper. No. Let's do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> there, look on your face. <laughs> if the haul bag is more full, which it always is when I'm uh, going, especially with one bag, I am about my, got my crotch about where it is now, but what's really cool is I can grab up here and then sit on it, get my feet behind mm -hmm. it, and when I sit, it doesn't collapse, and it's actually a nice little spot to sit. Now, another thing we could do is would I- Would you like to belay on the portal edge on there, Ryan? I would love to belay on the portal edge Because that there. doesn't look that comfortable. It's not as comfortable as I'd like it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it in really quick so you can just deal with your process. Okay. So I'm in good. Ryan, you may take me off belay. Well, I'm gonna partially take you off belay. Yeah. Are you gonna fix yourself and just- I'm wrap? gonna rappel down on you. Smart. Mm. But notice that you're going in on a clove, right? So that it doesn't pull me to off. Yes, but Good you job. can undo it. Nice. Ah, <laughs> that's so cheesy. Okay, we got this. If I'm going to belay away from the anchors, I am going to make sure I have all the rope I need to do management of that rope. I'm not gonna leave all that stuff up here. And if I go down, that means I need a way to get back up. I get to hang out with the poop. So just be mindful of, if you try to get comfortable in here, the problem with blaying on a portal ledge is there's a lot of straps. And you can kind of, if you're not careful, kind of get tangled. And if you were to take a whip and the strap was tight and it were to go around, you're at risk of damaging your portal ledge. Not necessarily a safety concern, but these are not cheap. So, um, are you gonna sleep on the portal ledge while I'm blaying? I'm totally definitely gonna sleep on the portal ledge while you're, while you're climbing. But uh, depends how slow you are on the C1. Yep, oh, it's A0. <laughs> A. Pulling on gear the whole way, baby. <laughs> now when he's done climbing, I'm not going to collapse this portal ledge. Instead, we're gonna do something called flagging, where you clip one corner to the haul line, shove it up the haul line, clip the other corner to the haul line, and it waves like a flag as it gets pulled up above the haul bag. What's nice is on the next pitch while I belay him, since he's gonna do a block of leads, is that I can be comfortable on a ledge uh, on every pitch. This doesn't work as good on low angle climbs as your portal ledge will get destroyed. So it really is relevant to the context in which you're doing this. All right, how do we wanna set up to try to set that up? I'm ready to haul. Okay, I am going to flag this portal ledge to show you what happens if you don't collapse it and you want it on the next pitch. We have moved the anchor down to the ground, if you can't tell. And um, otherwise, I would just clip this underneath the haul bag, collapsed in its haul bag that it comes in. Um, flagging, you have to decide which way it's going to flag. If the wind is going to blow that way, I'm going to want the spreader bar facing out away from the cliff, otherwise it's going to break it. The spreader bar, is to help spread out the force from when you sit in the middle, it wants to scrunch in these middle pipes towards the middle and it can bend your portal edge. Uh, they're kind of a pain to get on and you don't want this to come off. Some people duct tape this to this if they're going to be flagging their ledge a bunch. What you can also do is pilot a hole and put a little bolt through there, uh, but it has to line up each time. And you can maybe bolt it on there with a lock nut as long as your bolt's not sticking out. Because this is going to get abused as we do this. But it's worth it. <laughs> Ow, damn, I just abused my ledge. In order to demonstrate this, I'm standing on the ground, which makes this a little bit easier, a lot easier in order to do it. Please practice this hanging off of something in its entirety before trying to do it on a big wall your first time. This is a short sling. <laughs> Hall line that's already a little tight, so I can slide up the portal edge. Now, um, now I grab the master point of the portal edge, and I have an adjustable sling on here, and this is why. I go above that carabiner, lock it, and this is the main thing holding the portal edge on here, even though they're not all going to come off. And I'm gonna pull it super tight, which keeps this stiffer. 
and also takes care of a lot of the straps. Then I'm going to push it up the rope and we're gonna make a flag. There we go. Yep, yep, that's good. There we go. Right there. I'm gonna take that sling and clip it there. And it sits on my bottle that protects my knot. And then this is pretty much ready to haul. I have my releasable system here. My straps are gonna get ground on and get damaged if there's a lot of things for it to catch on. So you have to be mindful of that. It is going to avoid damaging the spreader bar since the wind's gonna blow it this way and keep my spreader bar facing out towards the view. Keep in mind at around noon, a lot of wind picks up on El Capitan as the sun hits the face and the air rises. In the morning, it's calm. And so I've never really had a portal edge issue. But if you start flagging, you're gonna have to deal with that wind. And so it's safe-ish in this configuration. But as soon as you take one of the corners off, the sink can flap around and really hurt you. So just keep in mind the fact that you have a kite up there. But uh, uh, hold on, product placement. But uh, ready to haul. Okay. Hold on. All right, bag free. That's it, that's, it's, that's up against the projection. <laughs> <laughs> Different brands of portal edge need to be set up differently but in general, they all follow the same basic principles. Start by connecting the long poles together. Hang the bed of the portal edge flat to see if any of the straps are twisted. Then connect the short poles to the long ones. You might find it difficult to get the corners together, or you get one side in fine, but then it falls out while you're putting the other one in. If your portal edge has a spreader bar, it's usually easier to put this on before connecting the short poles. This keeps the portal edge in its rectangular shape and then you'll find it much easier to connect the corners together. When you have one side done, adjust the straps on the portal edge bed so that they are fairly slack but still just tight enough to hold the pole in place while you work on the other side. When you have all the poles connected, crank the straps tight, trying to get it fairly even on both sides. The portal edge will, at this point, have a slight twist to it. This is normal, and when you stand on it, it will become flat. Adjust the straps so the portal edge hangs flat. You'll need to adjust them differently depending on the angle of the rock. You might find that if you sit on one side of the portal edge, this happens. To avoid this, clip the corner. You need to be practicing at home a lot and not just standing on the ground, putting it together. One big suggestion I would suggest doing it is in daylight, at night with a headlamp on, and at night without a headlamp on mm. in under five minutes. That's a good challenge. Uh, my friend put together our brand new co-purchased portal edge mm. on the ground in his living room once. It's and not the same. It's not the it's not, same It's not all, the same. So. You can walk around and it's not the same as you have to move it all over, connect, move it all over, connect. And do it alone because oftentimes a friend you're taking up there has no idea how to set it up and you just get frustrated at them anyways and you ruin a friendship and then you end up cutting the rope and then... <laughs> uh, I wonder how much of that story is true. Yeah. Honestly, I like setting up the ledges by myself because you're in my way when I'm trying to move it back and forth unless we have a horizontal anchor. Mm -hmm. Now everything we just showed you is 10 times easier with a third bolt or a horizontal spot. And it's even 100 times easier if you have a sort of ledge, not good enough to sleep on, but just to get off your feet and put the ledge together and sort everything out. Yep. Another last thing about living on the wall, this section covered a lot on portal edges. About 90% of the walls that I approach do try to do natural ledges, even if they are really crappy, because I like to embrace the Royal Robins ethics of if they could do it with worse gear, so can I. 
But keep in mind that when you read a topo, that that okay bivy or good bivy for three is very up to the interpretation of the person who wrote the topo. And what one person's good bivy is, is another person's trash. So just keep that in mind that oftentimes when they say okay bivy for two, it is terrible. And it is yeah. not a ledge that you would typically yeah. like. Okay, so. Bivy means you get to get off your feet, but you're going to get zero sleep. It often means it's enough to sit and lean against the wall. Sounds okay to me. That's okay. Uh, I prefer to do walls as comfortable and convenient as possible. So sometimes a portal ledge is inconvenient to carry, so I don't. But, but if you're on a is, budget, it is doable. You're on a budget, and you have two portal ledges. And a taco hammock. Fun fact took three hours for us to put together our portal ledge hanging because the spreader bar is pretty tough mm -hmm. um, on uh, the first pitch of Lurking Fear. It was on Lurking Fear, me too, oh. same frustration. We, you get so excited, you want to sleep in your new portal ledge and you're like, we're just gonna fix one pitch and sleep at the top of it. Yeah. And it basically hosed the rest of the trip. Yeah. Don't start off with uh, bad momentum because you didn't do your portal ledge in under five minutes at home. I think it'll also be good to include tearing down your portal ledge by yourself and getting it in the bag and clipping it underneath the haul bag in those demo videos in the How Not To Bible. I appreciate those who have donated, those who have contributed, and those who like to swag out. Hit the thing that looks like this and we'll see you next time. Micro nut, micro cam, bolt extension. That is with all of our stuff on it. And then when I get on it, pretty much one. Come join me, babe. So 1.4. Are you safe-ish? Me? Yeah. I mean, other than my personal anchors, both going between my legs. That should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For this experiment. Okay. Okay. We're bouncing. We're not, I was like, are you dropping me? Um, we never, you never know. I don't know. Because then I'd get a... A crotch whip, and that sounds awful. All right. Oh. That's as much as I would ever put on here, because I'm just a lot smoother than that. Oh. <laughs> oh. The micro nut's still holding. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't like jumping like a trampoline. No, I was jumping very gingerly. Yeah. I don't want to damage my ledge. How much force can I put on this port ledge when it's a rock? <laughs> Sorry, Brent. <laughs> All right, what'd you, what'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Almost there. Oh my god, oh my. what'd you get? One more. 2.27. <laughs> <laughs>